Sir David Attenborough told us that lions are not only a keystone species, but they are also a symbol of the natural world. Did you know that lions are the second largest big cat species in the world after tigers? They're known for their powerful builds, impressive manes, and vocalizations that can be heard miles away. As apex predators, they sit at the top of the food chain and play a key role in the ecosystems where they live. However, they do face threats from other predators, such as crocodiles, hyenas, and humans, and even their own prey. A giraffe can kick a lion into oblivion, but possibly the most dangerous conflict they have with their prey is from buffalo. They often come into conflict in areas where their habitats overlap, and there have been instances of buffalo charging and goring lions creating fatalities. This, perhaps, is what makes the prides of lions that roam the land in Botswana so impressive. Okavanga Delta is a huge wetland region in Botswana that is home to thousands of buffalo, which are at the top of the menu for the lions there. To take down these giants, you need some serious muscle, and these lions have plenty. The females, which are smaller than the males, and naturally the main hunters, are enormous and look to be a similar size to regular male lions in other regions. There are a few ideas as to why these lions have grown so large. Part of it is that their main prey in this land is buffalo. Nicknamed Black Death, these animals are a force and require a lot of effort to take down, but once they have been, they provide enough meat to feed everyone comfortably. Now, mix that with the fact that there is little to no competition for food, so they eat regularly, and that the lions work their muscles when wading through the wetland, and you have a recipe for a predator to become even more fearsome. They've become a main tourist attraction there due to their reputation as the largest lions on the planet. But the king and queen of the savannah are not just about raw power. They're also about family, cooperation, and intelligence. There is another, perhaps more famous region in Africa where the lions have built a reputation for being the most ruthless apex predators. The lions of Sabi Sands don't have the luxuries of the Okavanga giants. They've had to fight for territories and food and doing so has bred some cunning predators. The most notorious of which has to be the six musketeers. Makulu the leader, Mr. T, Pretty Boy, Skew Spine, Dreadlocks and Kinky Tail were a group of six male lions born in the Sabi Sands region in the late 1990s. These lions were known for their large size and impressive manes, and they were initially seen as a positive addition to the lion population in the region. However, as they grew older and more dominant, they began to exhibit aggressive behaviors and take over other prides, killing the resident males and mating with their females. Now, in most prides, male lions will leave when they reach adulthood or force out the current alpha males. Whichever the case, the evicted males will then travel in search of their own prides to take over. Not these six. They moved as a unit, taking over prides and decimating the males they encountered. There have been various estimates of the number of prides that the six musketeers took over and the number of lion deaths that they were responsible for. Some estimates put the number of prides at around 15, while others suggest that the six musketeers may have taken over as many as 25 prides over the course of their lives. Whatever the number may be, these lions have their names written in history as the Lions of Sabi Sands. Thank you for watching, and now, hopefully, you know a little bit more about lions.